We still say we should not insult others. As Muslims, the Quran has a law. The freedom that is mentioned in the Quran regarding freedom of speech has a limit in the Quran. Allah says, the limit is, do not insult others. That's the limit. So you can say what you want, you can speak, you can air your views, you can express your opinions, you can ask all sorts of questions, but stop short of insult. That's what the Quran says. وَلَا تَسُبُّوا الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ فَيَسُبُّوا اللَّهَ عَدْوًا بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ Do not swear, mock, jeer, joke about those that are being called out besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or those who call out to gods besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because as a result, they will do the same regarding Allah without knowledge. They will start mocking at you. So Allah says, hang on. These gods are false. These beliefs are false according to us. This is wrong. This is unacceptable. You do not insult, make a mockery of or joke about others and the way they worship. That's what the Quran says. The Jews can worship as they want. The Christians can worship as they want. The Hindus, the Buddhists, everyone else, they worship as they want. If you would like to discuss, no harm, but do not insult. No, not at all. Don't insult them and don't insult their gods. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. You know, I remember we were walking past a temple once and with my children, and the child says, we looked at this temple. He says, what are they doing here? I said, they're worshipping. And you know, later on, he tells me when we were alone, he says, they're worshipping a God that looks at them like this. And I'm like, hey, you better keep quiet. Subhanallah. Let them do as they please. He says, that's so scary. I'm getting nightmares. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to stop people insulting others. That is something, it's a basic human character, characteristic, basic. We should not be insulting others. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this.